We are headed out by the river. This is an after work bow hunt for some pig. So something very cool just happened. So we rolled up. I drove up to basically driving up along this road, as you can see. And um, uh, there was a bunch of emus, a mother with her babies. It's too bad, you know, I, I couldn't film it. Just it's kind of like on the wrong side of the, the vehicle. But anyways, so the emus, a lot of times when they hit fences, because they tried getting through this fence, well, got through this fence and such, but when they got through that fence, it dropped some feathers. So it's really cool because I was actually needing emu feathers for my flies. As you guys know, I tie flies and uh, fly fish for my cod. Love it. It's awesome. I think more people should do it. But it's very cool because if you guys take a look at this, I only need, so for a fly, you can use whatever. Look at this. Perfect, perfect amount of feathers for one fly. I could, it's perfect tails. And these are expensive in the store, so I try not to buy emu feathers because I run into this situation quite a bit. Um, I'm just gonna basically look around here and pick, pick off the feathers I need. Um, but yeah, now I got emu feathers for the fly, fly fish. So, you know, outdoor stuff. As you bow hunt, as you, you know, outdoors, you can make useful to pretty much, pretty much anything you, um, you decide to make use for, you know? But instead of buying emu feathers, here you go. We are at the area where I want to be. It is basically kind of like a swampy, dugout areas um, forgot my head mount for my camera so we're just gonna kind of wing it but hopefully hopefully we get a pig and should be a good time actually last time I was here this was what I'm gonna show you was, was all water um, and it was like a it was basically like a, a pond so this right here was all water at one point and um, I think I hear the pigs in there. So I think this is a, a sit and wait kind of deal. But I might just sit and try to spot, see what, see what, uh, see what I can do. So what? I'm actually gonna climb this tree. I think it's gonna be really good if I sit there because I have, I'll have a high vantage. So, I caught up here. It was shit, but... I'm kind of like, this is what tree stands are for, but... I don't got a tree stand, and I need to kind of make do for what I have. So, I don't know if this is a shit idea, but... Give it a go, you know? It's the worst I can lose. It's just... There's no comfortable spot to really sit. There's like one way to shoot really or but I guess we'll see kind of see where where I'm at with distance on spots and stuff you know so when you kind of sit in the trees down and you kind of sit oh my fucking range fighter just fell down <sighs> fuck me dead Sucks. Gotta climb all the way down and come back all the way up. So guys. <sighs> Saw no pigs. Saw nothing. I don't know if it's like this area this area is like drying up or or what's 
what's happening, you know? I just don't know. It's like there's not as much pigs here right now. Or lately, so I'm not too sure what's going on. Um, I just haven't been here enough times in a row lately to understand how they're working around here. Kind of like how the pigs are kind of... But beautiful sunset, guys. Got out, got some exercise. Um, found some emu feathers for fly tying for tomorrow, but this is the reality of bow hunting or hunting in general. You don't get them every time. So, but the sunset's good. Got some emu feathers. Um, wildlife, you know, just getting out, just doing some shit. So, yeah, just having a good time, you know, enjoying my passion. I hope you guys are all enjoying your passion out there, so, yeah, right on, well, you guys have fun, whoever is watching, so, I'm just so pumped I found Union Feathers.